I've been working on record organizing for probably about two months now. Lost a friend of mine recently, and I acquired his huge collection, and it's gorgeous. But I've got to take his collection and merge it into mine. And, you know, there's a lot of things that you think about when it comes to record organizing. I thought I'd ask DJs, what do you do? How do you organize your records? Now, a lot of DJs said, I just alphabetize things. So it's last name or the band name and just alphabetize everything and you're done. That's really difficult to do if you're dealing with more than just a couple of hundred records. And if you have a couple of hundred records, that probably works pretty well for you. Now, a lot of DJs will organize by BPM. I don't do that. Uh, especially those DJs who are only working kind of within one genre. I've got a lot of stuff that I like. I like a lot of different kinds of music. And I'm from the old school of crates. Now, the way crates worked, were we had them set up by category. So, for instance, we had a crate that was country. We had a crate that was rock. We had a crate that was slow music. We had a crate that was R&B. We had a crate that was, you know, whatever. I mean, disco. That's how I think of things. So, you know, I'm dealing with thousands of records here. If I wanted to play, I don't know, some R&B, all I have to do is dive into the R&B section and take a look at what's there. And I might thumb through it and say, oh yeah, this, 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 and this. Stuff I may not have thought about if I simply just had to go through the list of all the songs alphabetically. But yeah, you know, everybody's got their own flavor on how to do this. And what I try not to do is break my categories down too much. So I'm doing kind of top 40 mainstream dance, and then I'm doing freestyle as a separate category, which may be ill-advised, but I'm doing it. 70s disco, R&B, my limited hip-hop collection, that kind of stuff. And of course, house. Like Deep House, it's got its own category. But the problem is house has so many subcategories. So am I dealing with trance? Am I dealing with classic house? Am I dealing with 90s house am I dealing with ghetto house there's all kinds of subcategories so it's so difficult to really break house music down and when you're talking about trying to alphabetize by artist wow some of these house records I mean you've got one record and it's got four different artists on it or it's a white label you don't know what it is but you know what kind of music it is so when you start getting deep into this it gets more and more difficult so I don't know how do you do it let us know in the comments section if you're using categories, how many different categories do you break it down to? Are you doing crates, like I used to, and kind of like how I'm doing here on the wall? Or are you simply just alphabetizing everything and doing a little compilation section at the end of Z? Let us know in the comments section. I'm curious. Practice and enjoy.